Hello, welcome again. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create integration in our Oracle Integration Generation 3. So let's begin. For creating the integration, we need to navigate to the design and in design we have integrations. So right now we will create basic integration. That integration doesn't require any connection. But if you want to use connection, I have already created separate videos I have where I have explained you how we can create the different different connection. So now this time we will create one integration and I will explain you the details of the integration and the canvas and all these things related to the integration. So before going to a start, I request you to please, if you are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe this channel and just select the notification as all so that whenever I will upload any videos, you will get notification of that videos in your mobile phone or laptop, whatever you are using so that you didn't miss any any videos. And if you are the like you have already subscribed this channel, don't forget to like and like friend whenever you are subscribing the channel, doing like on the videos and doing any comments, it's give us the motivation that we can create that kind of videos again and again. So don't forget to subscribe, like and give you the the feedback in in your videos comment. So let's begin. For creating the integration, we have to click on the create button. So once we will click on the create button, you can see we have option to create the integration. So this is the type of we can say the pattern of the integration. Previously, we have various types of pattern that is app driven, schedule, file transfer, basic, publish to IC, subscribe to IC. Now in generation 3, they remove all kind of patterns and just added two patterns. That is the first is application, second is the schedule. So this in this video, we are going to use schedule one. I will I will explain you about all these changes, all these things in separate videos. But this video is related to creating the integration. So just I will I will go to the creation part. So here I will give the name as access so that we can identify that the custom. And here I will use as this integration is scheduled. So I will use as C so that we can easily identify that's the schedule integration or the app driven by the name only. And this integration is going for the testing purpose only. So I will use test integration 01. You can provide any name, whatever you prefer or you want. So this is for testing purpose. That's why I given the uh, access schedule test 01. Now here you can see this is the version. So whenever we provide the name, the identifier automatically comes. Even you can change the identifier by doing values, whatever added values you want to add. But I don't want to change the identifier here. This is the version. So default version comes with that the major as 01. Then we have minor as 00 and that the patch version. You can change the version whenever you create different integration. Even we have package option. If you will provide the package, that integration will be combined with that package only. If you don't provide package, that will be integration will be independently open. So I just don't want to provide any packages. So suppose if I want to provide the package, suppose oic.test so the oic.test new package will be created and that integration will be mapped to the package only so i will explain you that also right just click here in the create once you will click on the create the integration will be created and whenever we create schedule integration we got two endpoint that is the this is the schedule endpoint and this is the stop endpoint so this endpoint will help us to initiate the integration and this will help us to close the integration or end the integration this is the canvas of the integration and in the canvas here you can see the integration endpoint is showing in the horizontal way if you want to make this as a vertical we have icon here once you will click the design will be changed to vertical and now here we have option for that if you will click on that outline icon the integration will be in the horizontal and it will show you the details of the endpoints here you can see this is the endpoint for the starting or triggering the the integration and this is for the termination termination of the integration in Oracle Generation 3, we have option for cut, copy, paste of the, the, the endpoint so that we can move the endpoint from one directory to the one location to the one position to the different position that we have in Oracle Generation 3, we have the position option, right? So for that, we have given the icon. You can see once you will select the endpoint, you have icon for the cut. This is for the paste and this is for that you can see the specific mode. Selection mode if you want to select. So once you will select, you can even select the, the end. The, the, the all the endpoint whatever we have right so now here you can see this is the basic and this is the canvas in the canvas we will add all these things so remember whenever we are creating the integration it requires it's mandatory to use a tracking variable so that in 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 the tracking page we can check the integration we can debug the integration we can find the integration that's why this error is showing here and in this integration we don't have any endpoint that's the another error we will solve it in every everything 
here you can see in inside view we have the details so right now we don't have anything it's not showing here here you can see this is the invoke part so this invoke part have all the connection whatever invoke type connection or invoke and the, the trigger connection we created here right all the connection if you want to add the connection in our indication we can drag the connection here and we can use even we can click on the plus icon and we can add the connection we can add the endpoint whatever we want to add the logic even action and all all these things we have right the two way and this you can see this is the action icon once we will click here whatever element we want to add whatever action we want to add we can add here so suppose if you want to print the log message here we have the logger so here you can see that the logger somewhere i will show you here you can see logger we can add the logger to print the log message so suppose if you want to add the logger here we can directly click here and we can drag the logger here so if you want to add the logger and provide the name so suppose i want to show the logger message all the time i will provide here and even you can see the values so what value we want in logger we can provide the value from that variable or we can directly hard code the value so suppose i want to hard code the value as hi this is my first integration this is the hard coded value i want to provide in the logger now done so once this is done here you can see if you want to change the value or update the value update the value here you you can you can click off for removing the values and for editing you can click here and here we can update the values right so once everything is done you just you what you need to do you need to click somewhere else so that that value can be removed here you can see the integration will be started we have added one logger variable logger message so that it can show you the log message then integration will be end all these things we can add even we can create a global variable by clicking here so if you want to add global variable here if you want to add the properties of the integration everything we can do so right now i don't want to do any changes right here you can see this is the canvas where it's showing we can increase the size decrease the size all these things we can do right here if you want to add another action for the hex so x scope handling logic if a statement looping whatever we want we can add here a stage operation all these things i will create videos where i will use all these things one by one right and suppose if you want to use the logger so here for notification we will use notification here and in the notification if you want to send an email we can use here so here too if you want to provide the name in two so i just want to give the name as So this user will get an email, whatever email we will set. Now here from where we want to send that email. So here we can use the variable or we can use directly hard coded value. So suppose we want to be right that no reply at oracle.com. From here, this will be trigger the email. Now after that one, I want to provide the subject. Just click here, provide the subject name. This is test email right and in body you whatever values you want you can add so i just want to hide in this email is for testing of the schedule integration regards ycd and if you want to add parameters variable so parameter variable here in notification we use to show the variables value of the variable so suppose i want to provide the integration name integration name and from where i will get the integration name so as we know that we have the default properties of the integration we can get so first create the variable parameter variable as p underscore integration name and value we have to map the value for this variable so from where we will map you can see here in the parameter value we have all this thing so here in the metadata of the self we can have the integration details in the metadata if you will go here integration and this integration can store the details of the name identifier version so i just want to add the name i will drag here so this name will be mapped in the variable that variable can be used in here so for using this variable here what we need to do is that first here we will use the parameters variable and here we have to provide the name so here we have name as p so this name i will use here so at runtime this p variable will be replaced with the value and what value this variable will hold this variable will hold the value of that the identifier even if we can provide the instance name also 
So if you want to provide the instance name, so whenever we will run the integration, it will generate one unique number that called as instance number. So you can see integration instance ID. So suppose we created one variable p underscore instance ID, right? And this variable we will create, and here we will map the value. So suppose here we create another variable. And in the variable, what value we, we map? We want to map the value as runtime. So in metadata, we have runtime, and in the runtime, we have the instance ID. So now this value will be replaced at runtime, right? So now we have done all these things. If we want to find the uh, add the attachment as a file reference or anything, we can add here. So add or just now we don't want to do anything, right? So just click here in the mapping; it will be removed, and now you can see our integration is ready. This integration first initiate the integration. After that, it will show you the log message. Then we it will send an email to the user with the details whatever we configure. So now we have to save the integration. So once you will save for each and every integration, I told you that we have one tracing variable should be enabled. So for enabling the tracing variable, we have the you can see the error is showing for that only. We have to enable the tracing variable. For that we have to add the, the tracing variable or we can say the business identifier for that we need to move here once you will click here you can see the option so the first one is the mandatory and the rest of the optional we can skip the maximum three values we can add so suppose here first we want to add the variable as a start time so i will use drag and start time here so that the value it will show you the start time even we can use the variable or parameters if we have in the schedule integration so once done here you can see we don't have any error in our integration now save integration is saved now it's it's in you can see in configure status it means that we can we can run the integration and it's ready to ready to run the integration so now you can see once it's configure status we can go back and once you can go back you can the integration is configure status now it's time to run the integration so click here and here as you can see this is the schedule integration we can activate or run the directly right so first act activate the integration so once integration is activated you can see ac activation in progress once you will refresh it will take little bit of time to activate so you can see now activated now it's time to run so just click here so here if you will see so now here we have option to run so once you will click here you can see we have option to run once you will click here you can see that run by user you can even you can change and if if want to schedule we can schedule so right now i just want to run as ad hoc basis ad hoc basis in turn forcefully we have to run right even we can schedule as a as, as a part of scheduler so just want to run click here and here click on the run so if you want to add for tracing variable checking all these things you can go here right so now when we will click on the run it will forcefully run the integration immediately and it will generate one instance id right so here you can see whenever inter integration executed it will generate instance id and you can see this is the instance id generated even you can make a copy of this instance id by clicking here and this is all the log message of the instance id for for loading the log message sometimes it takes a little bit of time to log the load the log messages so you can refresh here once you will refresh you can see all the messages so here you can see this i icon so that inside that we have some values once you will click here you can see the log message whatever we have added the log message so you can see we added the log message as i hi this is must first integration and after that we added the notification to send an email right so here you can see message sent by notification once you will click here at runtime you can see all the values so here you can see subject this is the test email from address no reply like mine type text plane to address around the frag gmail.com body we have all these things right even you can i will show you on the email so here you can see i got an email that email contain all the details you can see hi team no reply it's coming from the no reply at oracle.com as i have added over there and you can see the name hi team this email is for testing of the schedule integration integration name this is our integration name this is the instance id you can see us same instance id we have here and the details so this is the way we can create integration in next video i will create app driven integration where i will show you how we can add the endpoint we can add the configuration of the request and response payload all these things thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you so much again